Quebec City, a favorite place of mine in a beautiful old European style town nestled into the hillside of the St. Lawrence River in Quebec, Canada. Full of cobblestone streets, fabulous dining, museums, a St. Lawrence River, this is really a fantastic place to spend some time. But I'm not here for any of that, I'm here for this. The 2018 Cadillac CT6. This is Cadillac's flagship sedan, a super luxurious, charming American executive sedan with a powerful twin turbocharged V6 engine. But more specifically, I'm here to test Super Cruise, an all new autonomous driving system that Cadillac says is the world's first true hands-free driving system. So how exactly does this system work? To my right is Harry. He's a Cadillac product manager. Thank you very much, Harry. Hey, thank you, Mike. Nice to have you uh, on our media ride. Well, it has been a pleasure, and it's been one of the easiest media rides I've been on because I've been basically doing this for the past uh, two or three hours. So what I want to do today is talk a little bit about what makes Super Cruise, first of all, uh, different from the competition, uh, what's unique about it, and what makes it better. Well, Mike, first of all, Cadillac CD6 Super Cruise is the industry's first true hands-free driving technologies for the highway. That means when all the conditions are met for Super Cruise to operate, you can drive all day long with your hands off the steering wheel. Right, which is what I'm doing now. There's no, exactly, yeah. There's nobody asking me to, to put my hands back on the wheel every 10, 15 seconds. It's legitimately just hands-free. Right. Assuming the conditions yeah. are, are being met. And, and, and we, we view safety as the overriding priority. The system that we develop, the super cool system that we develop, has to work 100% of the time. Not 99.99%, it's 100% of the time. So when we develop the, um, the Super Cruise, we have built in multiple layers of redundancy. So to have one system supervising the other system and supervise the other system to make sure that when one system fails to respond, another system is right there to, to look after the driving. So in addition to the, to the vision, meaning camera, uh, based technology and also radar based technology. We also utilize the driver attention system to make sure that the driver remains partners with Super Cruise during the drive. Right, so you're not, it is hands off in, a, in one sense, but in another way, you're still required to uh, pay attention. You're not, you're not getting in the back seat. That you're is, not closing your eyes and taking a nap. You're still observing the road in front of you. That is correct, right. yeah. Super Cruise will communicate with you um, through the three levels of escalation. The first level of escalation is the green light bar will flash green right. to, uh, to grab your attention. If there is no response and there's no driver input, Super Cruise will escalate the warning to level two. The light bar will flash red, Super Cruise will disengage and allow the, uh, the vehicle to coast down the highway in the center of the drive lane. Super Cruise will continue to, uh, to prompt the driver. If there's still no response, Super Cruise will apply the brake and gradually bring the vehicle to a complete stop, right. turn on the four-way hazard light, and OnStar will call to the vehicle and make contact uh, attempt to make contact with the driver uh, to see what is happening. Again, if the OnStar operator does not get a response from the driver, OnStar will assume that the driver becomes incapacitated, some kind of medical condition that just prevent the driver from responding. Right. OnStar will dispatch uh, medical assistance to your location. Right, so that's another you know that's an advantage from having this type of system that you would never think of exactly. you know most people are just convenience focused I want to be able to take my mind off uh, you know if I'm a commuter every day I want to be able to do what I'm doing now which is just yeah. sort of ease my mind ever so slightly but if there is a medical emergency or something happens behind the wheel rather than flying off the road it's bringing you to a gradual controlled stop calling on star so that's something you know I never would have even thought about exactly yeah 
Uh, so what's next? This is a stage two semi-autonomous technology that's quite successful. Stage three is on the horizon. How does that apply to Cadillac and what your plans are in the near future? Well, Mike, um, fully autonomous driving um, is really um, in the plan for the future. So it's just a matter of time that we will get to that point. What we have in, on today's CD6, the Super Cruise, by definition is what we call level two autonomous driving. Um, and I cannot disclose too much information on the rollout timing, but, you, but it's you, just a matter of time that um, we will roll out to level three and eventually level four full autonomous driving. So this is on the horizon. This is, might we say, being worked on currently. Absolutely. Long development cycles for these types of yeah. software platforms yes. and hardware applications. Absolutely right. So unlike some other semi-autonomous systems out on the market, this will not change lanes for you. Now, I know that's one of those features that really impresses my passengers whenever I have it. So what's behind the decision for Cadillac not to allow uh, that feature? Mike, this is a very good question. Um, we, we may not recognize, but to perform a lane change, we're introducing many more variables into the drive. Okay. As an experienced driver, we can handle this, these variables and perform the lane change. But for the vehicle to perform a lane change safely, reliably, 100% of the time, uh, there are more hardware that are required uh, to do this reliably and safely. Right. And with what, uh, with the hardware that, that are available on today's driver assistance system, um, that's just not enough to perform that task. So this is, uh, you know, uh, put into other words, it's quality over quantity. Exactly. 100% success rate. 100%, versus... yeah. We cannot, we cannot have 99.99% .99 success rate. It has to be 100% reliable. Right. Now, I'm just going to interrupt you for one sec because we're on the highway. We're going 105 kilometers per hour, and we're coming up to, by highway standards, a fairly, fairly aggressive right-hand turn. And I was saying a moment ago, in other systems, I still get a little bit apprehensive when I hit a corner like this. Yeah. And this is just about the best system. Now, we're getting a little bit of sort of surfing or ping-ponging, some people call it. We have a really, really serious headwind right now, too. Maybe one of the worst I've seen in a while. But I don't get that nervous. And I'm, and I'm not just saying this because I have a Cadillac guy sitting beside me. Within a period of a couple of hours, I've allow my sort of guard to drop a little bit, if that's the right word, going around a corner like yeah, that. I actually yeah. have trust in the vehicle that it's going to turn the right way. The turn that we just made really is a perfect example to demonstrate the, uh, the use of LiDAR map data. And what does LiDAR stand for? Well, LiDAR is it's an acronym that stands for uh, Light Detection and Ranging. Right. Um, it is a technology that is used to survey the landscape and and generate map data in three dimensions and high definition. We also utilize LiDAR map data in our Super Cruise system. What we use it for is, you know, with the understanding of the surrounding um, and the forward camera and uh, that generate the vision, uh, the vision input. Um, this is where we use to plot the vehicle travel path and this is what we call the blue line. Right. Okay? So, with the availability of detailed LiDAR map data, we are able to plot that blue line two and a half kilometers down the road. Two and a half. Two and a half. So we know exactly you know, where the turn is and how far away is the turn from the vehicle. So we, we plan ahead everything, and that's why to achieve the, uh, the stability uh, that you just experienced when the vehicle uh, ran around the, uh, the turn. So, it's in that sense, it's not uh, reactive. It's not simply reactive. It's not simply viewing the road via a camera and radar a few hundred feet in advance. It, it knows what it's coming up to. That turn that we just made, it's been planned two and a half kilometers right. before we got there. By the year 2020, Cadillac will make Super Cruise available on every single model they make. Until then, you'll find it as standard equipment on the top trim CT6 and part of a broader package on mid-trim levels. 
Does it work? Absolutely. Super Cruise is a resounding success and has definitely moved the needle forward in the world of autonomous driving technologies. Is it perfect? Well, no, but it handles highway duty better than most autonomous systems on the road today. Perhaps most importantly, Cadillac has created a system that helps you quickly build trust in the technology. Their head tracking driver attention system is intuitive, it's effective, and it has just the right amount of intrusion. It's present, it's watching, but it still allows you to relax. If you do any amount of regular highway driving, this is money well spent. 